new peptides. Specifically, this little white powder is Samax. Samax is a very interesting peptide developed by the KGB to boost their agent's cognition. This peptide enhances memory, learning, attention, and IQ in short spans when it's being used. It's a fragment developed in Russia of the adrenocorticotropic hormone. So the Russians isolated this very specific fragment of a hormone in your adrenal response. And they found that it boosts your overall cognition. It boosts your IQ, it increases attentiveness, it increases BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotropic factor, and that's going to increase neurogenesis. It's going to support new nerve growth, new nerve survival. It's been used by a lot of people to recover from strokes because it quite literally grows the neurons in the brain like roots in a tree. Very interesting peptide. And especially with the modifications and the newer versions, uh, the acyl group being added, the acyl chain being added onto the peptide and the amidate section on it, it's much more stable and long lasting. And I can say my, from first-hand experience, I've been using this for a few days now, very subtle on the nervous system. It doesn't feel like drinking coffee. It doesn't feel like taking Adderall. It's an, I would, don't even know if I consider it a stimulant, but it is very subtly, I can tell, raising my cognition. It boosts all other stimulants. So if I take this in the morning, when I drink coffee, when I do any kind of nicotine, any other stimulant, it just raises my overall level. And I notice I'm a lot more focused, a lot more tuned in with this peptide. To have my brain be able to sustain deeper train of thoughts for a long period of time, much longer than I would have otherwise. So it's almost like an anti-ADHD drug. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like Adderall, but you can see it as a more subtle, natural form of Adderall. And even I've noticed an interesting effect of it that I haven't read this in the literature on the peptide, but when I eat, I normally get tired, especially if I have a high glycemic meal, it boosts my insulin and it makes me tired. But with this peptide, I've noticed that when I eat, I don't get as tired. The brain fog that usually onsets 10 to 15 minutes after I eat is a lot less. So I'm not sure what effect it's having on my blood sugar or insulin systems potentially, but something in that the adrenotropic fragment that this peptide is, is doing something with that to keep your brain functioning and running at a high level. So really interesting peptide. There are also studies that have shown that it reduces depression and anxiety. It seems to leave open the dopamine receptors. So any dopamine that you would get through other methods naturally or from something like nicotine or caffeine, your dopamine receptors are elevated and you're able to absorb and you know keep the receptor filled or docked. I can definitely tell an uptick in my cognition, my thought speed, and most noticeable is my ability to sustain deep thought, long trains of thought for longer. It's also supposed to help, if, you know, if you're lifting a lot, it's supposed to aid in oxidative stress and stress on your CNS. So if you're someone that's lifting heavy or you're doing something very physically taxing, even just thinking, you know, if you play a game of chess for three hours, this is going to help reduce the charge up time that your CNS and your brain needs to keep going. So you're not going to get as mentally worn out. You're not going to get as physically more worn out from, you know, a heavy set of squats that where your CNS would normally be blasted from a crazy intense stimulus. This is raising the water line in your brain and allowing you to be more flexible, to recover more and to be more resilient. So, and I've noticed that firsthand with just my ability to not get tired or burnt out from cognitive tasks. Very interesting peptide, but that is my take and my experience. I'm, I'm also using, um, I'm doing doses. These are 10 milligram vials. Um, and I'm doing 0.5 milligrams per dose once or twice a day. Um, obviously sub Q injection. But yeah, that is my peptide review on Samax. If you'd like the video, subscribe. I'm starting to make a lot of content on here. So stay tuned for more videos. 
and yeah that's that's the review 